Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of augmented reality, which I personally think has the power to close thousands of useless schools, especially engineering and engineering classes and physics classes and chemistry classes. Pay attention. This is cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going to reload the page because it just crashed on me, of course but it was working just a couple seconds ago. So let's refresh the page. And okay, it's gonna load content. And let's go to, hmm. Well, let's see. Auditorio de Tenerife. Never been there. Uh, at least I don't think I've been to this place. Now we're gonna see the 3D model. I'm going to open with our site, A-A-R-S-I-G-H-T, click OK. Give it a second. Now it's going to want to see my... It's going to want to see my webcam, which it should... Yes, I have webcam connected. Integrated webcam. It asked me that last time. I have printed out a marker that our site wants. Tick tock, tick tock. Body rock, body rock. All right, now there is my marker, and there. Let's see if I can get it centered. There's my marker, and there's my 3D. Now I can I'll lift the marker so you can see. Oh, look at that! It's doing a much better job of seeing it this time. I'm actually okay. Now it's lost it. Now it's found it. I can turn it like that. I'll put it back on the ground. Oh, and I have to stretch way over there. Okay, now, I turn, I turn, I turn. Now, can I zoom? Now, I'm trying to zoom. Right-click zoom, doesn't do anything. I'm scrolling the mouse, doesn't do anything. But, if you needed to, for example, you had this marker here, and another marker there, and another marker here and you wanted to see how these different markers fit in constructing a new engine or a chemistry problem or a physics problem or an architectural problem uh, electrical problem you could with the right setup visualize all of these objects and how they interact uh, this is uh, very useful for engines, especially, and none of them, none of these do it yet. But if you had, for example, um, a library of markers, see that marker right there? hasn't hasn't found it yet. Now it's found it. If you had a library of markers, let's see, so that whenever a new marker came on you'd be able to identify it. That's a camshaft, that's a transmission, this is the engine, that's the chassis, that's the fuel supply, and then you assemble them, you would have a complete model, wouldn't you? 3D puzzle maker. Come on, people. I'm not very smart. I figured that out in about two seconds. When are we going to get the software that allows us to do that? Let's see, there it goes. Now, if I put my hand over it, over part of the marker, does it go away? Does it go away? Yes, it does. All I have to do is cover part of the marker and uh, the 3D goes away. But it comes back just like that. Thanks for watching. Go play. Have fun. It's cool. Really cool.